Hi, this is Becca from UNC Wellness. Today we'll work through an alignment based class. You might choose to use a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, a book works just fine. So we'll start off in a seated position, either with the legs crossed or out to the front. Hands can rest lightly in the lap. We'll start off with some centering breath. So keeping our spine long, relaxing the shoulders. We can feel both sits bones on our mats. We're just feeling the rise and fall of our breath. If it helps to connect with the breath, you might place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. We can feel the lift of the heart and the belly on the inhale. Feel both melt back on the exhale. Feeling that lift on the inhale and the melting back on the exhale. On the next inhale, we reach our arms above the head. Big reach, big stretch. On the exhale, bring the fingertips behind, open the heart, drop your shoulders. Inhale the arms up once more, and then to the heart. So we're gonna switch between some side bends and some twists. On the inhale, float the arms overhead. I'm going to the left first. My left hand comes on the mat or the block and we'll lean over, open the heart, maybe tilt the eyes to the sky. Inhale, find the center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, find the center. This time we'll add twists. Twisting to my left, lengthen through the spine, one hand on the knee, the other behind. Inhale to the center, switching sides. Inhale to the center, so a pair more of each. Left hand on the mat, let's lean over. Inhale to the center. Right hand on the mat, lean over. Inhale to the center, again with a twist. Lifting to the center, twist to the other side, long spine as you do. Inhaling to the center, and then the hands to the lap. So we'll add some sweeps over the legs, keep the spine long, lead with the heart. So we're adding some circles. So if our back feels pretty good today, our circles might be wider. We can also take a bit smaller circle if we need to. And then let's sweep the other way, still leading with the heart. Nice long spine. And back to the center, let's lift the arms overhead and then bring the hands to the heart. And from seated, we'll move over to all fours. So on the hands and the knees, the wrists will be under the shoulder, knees under the hips. On our inhale, we drop the belly, lift the chin, looking up for our cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, press through the hands, coming into cat. Let's do that two more times, drop the belly and look up. Exhale, round the spine. One more time for cow, drop the belly and look up. And then exhale, round the spine, press high. And then come to a neutral spine, we're moving to child's pose. We can separate the knees a little bit wider, stretch the arms out in front, maybe the forehead comes to the mat. Bring those arms shoulder width apart, wide fingers, curl the toes where you are, lift the hips, press back into downward facing dog. And so for downward facing dog, our shoulder blades are squeezing together across the back. We'll open through the chest and the chest is pressing towards the thighs. And if we'd like to walk the dog here, we can press one heel into the mat and then the other. and then bring those feet still. On our inhale, we're gonna come forward to plank and hold 
Draw those shoulders back, pull in the belly. You're welcome to drop down to the knees if you need to. And then press back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna move through our vinyasa flow together three times. On the inhale, coming forward to plank either on the toes or the knees. Elbows point behind us, biceps forward as we lower down to the mat. On the inhale, press the chest away, lift the heart, finding our cobra. Exhale, release. Back to all fours or down dog. Two more times through. Inhale, forward to plank. Elbows behind us, we exhale to the mat. Inhaling, lift, drop your shoulders. Exhale, release. Back to down dog. One more time through. Inhale forward to plank. Elbows back. Exhale, we lower to the mat. Inhaling, lift the chest, drop your shoulders. Exhale. And then back to all fours or down dog. We're going to lift up our right leg. Step it through to the top. It's okay if you have to help it along. Drop down your left knee. So we're coming to a lunge. If you haven't talked to your hips today, now's the time. Keeping the front knee over that ankle. Hands can be on the thigh, at the heart, or overhead. You could also add a twist here and bring that left hand to the floor or block. We're going to twist towards the inside of the leg. You can keep the hand on the thigh or lift the arm up. Exhale, let's release the hand to the mat. We're gonna sit back for a hamstring stretch. And we'll straighten that right leg, flex the right foot. Feel that nice stretch down the back of your right leg. Walk yourselves forward, switching sides. Left leg comes forward. Again, it's okay if you have to help it along. Left knee over the ankle, hand on the thigh, overhead or at the heart. And adding the twist, the right hand comes to the floor of the block. And then we'll inhale, lift up the left arm if we choose. Exhale, bring the upper hand down. We're gonna sit back, flex our left foot. Feel that nice stretch in your left hamstring. And then walk yourself forward. We're going to pick up the back knee and step into forward fold. And for that forward fold, keeping the knees over the ankles, eye gaze to the legs, hands can be on the floor, on the block, or you can also hang and ragdoll with the arms on the elbows. Inhale, sweep all the way up, hand to the heart. So we'll move through sun salutations. We'll do four rounds. If you prefer not to do vinyasa flows, you can substitute cat cows instead. So we'll start with the feet hip width distance apart. Bring the arms overhead. Exhale, keep the knees bent as you find forward fold. Inhale, half lift, neutral spine. Exhale, fold, take it to plank. Press the hips up and back for downward facing dog. You can move through cat cows or the vinyasa flow. Coming forward to plank, keeping the belly in, elbows behind, biceps forward as we release to the mat. Inhale, lift the heart, drop our shoulders for our cobra. Exhale, release. Back to all fours or down dog. Step a walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then come to chair, knees behind the toes, arms lift or come to heart center. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Take it to plank, lift to down dog. Your choice, cat cows, or move through the vinyasa flow again. You can always drop down to the knees. Lift for cobra, drop our shoulders. Exhale, 
back to all fours or down dog. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms come up and then come to chair. We have two more rounds, arms lift, exhale fold, inhale half, exhale fold again, take it to plank, lift to down dog, your choice cat cows or the vinyasa flow, exhale as you lower, inhale, press and lift, drop our shoulders, exhale lower, back to all fours, or down dog, step or walk to the top of the mat, inhale, arms float up, exhale to chair, inhaling, arms sweep again, exhale fold, inhale, half lift, exhale fold, take it to plank, lift to downward dog, cat cows or moving through your vinyasa flow again lift for cobra exhale release back to all fours or down dog step or walk to the top of the mat inhale arms come overhead exhale to your chair inhale arms lift how you might Take a slight back bend, lift from the hips, tip the heart to the sky, neutral spine, go ahead and release. Step wide on the mat, bring the feet parallel to the edges of the mat, we're going to fold at the hip, wide leg forward fold as you come down, try to center your weight, hands can be on the floor, the block, or you can work your way down to the forearms, inhale, come back to the center, we're going to walk the hands over to the right foot, stretch down the sides, walk your hands back to the center, and then over to the left, and this time turn your left toes to the short edge of the mat, take your back foot, and step in to forward fold. And from forward fold, we're going to inhale and half lift, bring the hands underneath the knees, nice long stretch to the back of the legs. Exhale, fold. And then inhale all the way up, reach those arms overhead. Take a tiny back bend if you like, open the heart, neutral spine, and then we'll reach behind, chest expansion, bring the fingers together, open the heart, drop the shoulders. Exhale, release. So we step back to warrior one. Take our right foot, natural step back, squaring up the hips. So our left knee will be directly over the ankle. Hips are squared to the short edge of the mat. One little trick you can do, take the fleshy part of your thumb, situate it on your hip bones, see if you can make those middle fingers match. If your right hip is opening to the sides, just take a little step in. So we're going to add some eagle arms here. So bring the arms out to the side. Left arm will be on the bottom. Right arm will cross at the elbow. So you can either bring your hands to your shoulders or wrap the arms. I'll step forward so you can see. You can choose to wrap the arms or give yourself a hug, whatever's most accessible for you. Now on the inhale, we'll float the arms overhead, big reach, and then open up to warrior two. So pivot out our right foot. So for warrior two, our right foot's parallel to the short edge of the mat. We're bending into our left knee and lifting those arms. So relax the shoulders. If you tend to lift the shoulders to the ears, see if we can soften those up. On the inhale, Take the front arm to the sky, big lift. Exhale, back to our warrior two, finding side angle. And for side angle, the left arm's gonna land lightly on the leg. So think about how a butterfly would land, it's barely there. 
or if you want a little more heat, you can straighten the arm. But the heart is always pointing forward. On the inhale, find that warrior two again. I'm gonna straighten the front leg for triangle. We're gonna lean out and then fold at the hip. So our triangle pose, the left hand either comes to the leg or a block. Our heart is still facing forward. Right arm can be in the sky, or you can also tuck the right arm behind you. On our inhale, we're gonna float to that warrior two. Bring the hands around that front foot. We're gonna step into the downward facing dog. So go ahead and step back. You can hold here in downward facing dog or you can take another vinyasa flow and come forward to plank, elbows back, exhale to the mat, inhaling, lift the chest, drop your shoulders, exhale, release, and then step back, downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, we'll step both feet together at the top of the mat, Lift the arms overhead and find a chest expansion. Drop the shoulders, lift the chin, and release. So switching legs for warrior one, we'll step back with the left foot, square hips to the top of the mat, right knee over that ankle. Bring the hands to the heart. If you notice that your left hip is opening to the side, just take a slight step in with that left foot. Now eagle arms, Bring the arms to the side, right arms on the bottom, left arm crosses at the elbow. We can either give ourselves a hug or wrap the arms. Inhale, arms come out and overhead and then to the heart. We're going to step out with our left foot, find our warrior two. Right knee is directly over the ankle, left foot is parallel to the left edge of the mat and if we find our shoulders are tense let's roll the shoulders down on our inhale we'll take the right arm to the sky reverse warrior nice link through the side body and then exhale floating through warrior two again to side angle so right arm light on the leg or you can straighten the right arm for a little more intensity the heart always faces forward. On an inhale, coming back to warrior two, we'll straighten the front leg for triangle, hinge at the hip, lean over, right hand finds the leg or a block, left arm can stay in the sky or tuck behind. I'm keeping that heart open. Inhale, find your warrior two. Windmill the hands over the front foot. We'll step into downward facing dog. You can hold here or move through a vinyasa flow again. Coming to plank, exhaling down. Inhaling, press the floor away, lift the heart for cobra. Exhale, release. Back to all fours or downward facing dog. Once again, step or walk to the top of the mat and find your forward fold. And on our inhale, let's sweep the arms overhead. Bring the hands behind, interlace the fingers, open the heart, lift the chin, and release. So for balance, I'm going to come to the mid part of my mat. We're gonna work through airplane pose. So airplane, we fold at the hip while we lift one leg. So imagine yourself coming into a capital T, but it's okay if you don't get quite to a full capital T. Arms can be to the side, to the heart, or out like wings. Now it is important to keep the eye gaze up. We want to avoid rounding and looking at the toes. That'll make our body slump forward. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to step forward with the right foot, knee soft, active quad, length of the spine. It does help if you flex your lifted left foot when we start to go. And on that exhale, we'll start folding at the hip, 
Imagine that body coming into a capital T. And then let's land. Very good. Switching sides, we'll step forward with our left foot. Toes grounded, soft knee, active quad. Remember, we're flexing the right foot when we lift the leg. And on your exhale, we'll start to fold at the hip. Eye gaze stays ahead of you on the mat, keeping the quad strong. And release. So if you would like to do the balance again, feel free to pause the video and then pick back up when you're ready. And sweep our arms overhead. We're going all the way down to the ground. So bringing our feet to the side, let's find our way to seated. And cross the legs, bring the hands lightly to the left. We're gonna do a couple shoulder rolls. Bring the shoulders to the ears, allow them to settle down. One more time. Very good. So with some seated cat cows, hands light on the legs. On the exhale, we're gonna round eye gaze tips to the ankles. Inhale, open the chest, drop your shoulder blades, maybe lift the chin. Let's do that two more times. Go ahead and round. Inhale, open the heart, drop your shoulder blades. And again, go ahead and round. Inhale, open the heart, drop your shoulder blades. Very good. So do a one leg forward fold bringing out my right leg first, tucking my left foot in. Now you can put a block underneath your left knee or underneath the right knee if your hamstring is tight. So we're gonna start with a long spine. Remember the stretch comes from the fold at the hip, not if you can reach your toes. So inhale, long spine, exhale, fold at the hip, relax your arms. You can also relax the head. If you wanna go a bit deeper, we're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine, Exhale, fold a bit deeper. And then walk yourselves up. Let's switch sides. Again, use a block under either knee if you need to. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold at the hip, relax the head. go a bit deeper inhale long spine exhale fold inhale let's walk ourselves back up very nice we're going to bring our feet into butterfly you can also do this reclined if you prefer we open the feet like a book you can place blocks underneath the knees if you choose you can stay upright with a neutral spine or Walk yourselves forward, relax the head. Inhale, walk your way back up and cross the legs again. We're gonna come to a spinal twist. So reach the arms overhead, I'm going to the left this time. Go ahead and bring the hands down, one hand on the knee, the other behind. Try to lengthen through the spine, relax your shoulder. Find your way to the center and then down to the other side. Lengthen through the back, relax your shoulder. Arms again overhead. Bring the hands to the heart. And let's take a few moments for Shavasana. Let's go ahead and close the eyes. If you prefer to lie back, you can. moments just to find our breath. So if you did lie down, let's go ahead and work our way back to seated. On our inhale, we'll sweep the arms overhead, bring the hands together. We'll bring the thumbs to the forehead for kind thoughts, to the lips for kind words, and to the heart for kind intentions. Thank you for spending some time with me. Namaste.